My name is Raymond Price, and I'm a murderer. I worked as a detective with the LAPD two weeks ago while patrolling a warehouse district. There was a disturbance. Two men were going at it. One of them had a gun. I can only assume he was trying to rob the other man. But by the time I got down there, the victim had gotten a hold of the suspect's gun. How was I supposed to know that? He turned to me and I fired. The suspect ran. I, was, I wasn't sure what to think. I had my suspicions on what exactly happened. I looked at the security feed. I had shot the wrong man. I, I, I couldn't let that tarnish my career. So I took the tape and I hit it. But one thing is, you just can't hide the truth forever. I'm just someone who wants to help, but only if you'll let me. What are you talking about? Who are you and how did I get here? To answer your second question, I brought you here. As for your first, don't you know by now? You're the one who knocked me out! Not shabby, Sherlock. What else could you deduce? You went on videotape. Shot the man and you let the thug escape. Give this man a million dollars. You stumbled upon my tape. I found it in the deck. I saw that it wasn't the normal tape the station carries. I put it in to see what it was. Don't congratulate yourself too much. I meant for you to find it. And then you attacked me and, and, and brought me here? That doesn't make any sense. And what's with this timer? You, you strapped us up with a bomb? Are you trying to take us both out? Settle down. It's all for your own good. You insane? Calm down, Richard. Shut, Shut up. up! There now. That wasn't so bad, was it? What did you just do? Before I answer that, I need you to do something. I'm listening. I want you to tell me everything you know about the incident you watched on the tape. I know that after you shot the man you thought it was a criminal, you let the other individual run away. You decided not to call it in and, uh, until you looked at the security footage from the warehouse and after looking at it, you realized you made a horrible mistake. So you hid the tape, you fudged your report, you felt guilty about it. You considered turning yourself in, but you didn't. Uh, I can only assume you've chosen a different way to deal with your problems. Said with such certainty. But how did you know I considered turning myself in? I never said that on the video. In fact, what were you doing with the tape deck in the first place? I, I, I told you, I, 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 I... Don't rush into this. Take your time. Think. How do you know so much about this case? I was there. I was outside when you went in. Well, why didn't I call in? You're still not remembering. In the suspect's body, there was a 45 caliber round. Our standard guns carry a 9mm. All, of course, except... Mine. My gun was in for repair, so I used my personal firearm. I, sh I shot him, but, but why did I? Think that I did it? It's simple, really. Normal for people with your condition. Condition? 
I did shoot him, and so did you. You see, Richard, <laughs> we complement each other. We're two halves of a whole. But like oil and water, we really don't mix. Yes, you're remembering now. You were the one who stole the tape. Who hid the evidence. But guilt got to me. I wasn't able to turn us in, so I devised another way to make things right. That box underneath you isn't a bomb, it's a tape deck, which is streaming your confession to the police headquarters. Shortly, they'll be here to apprehend you. Now that you know the truth, I won't be coming back. You don't need me anymore. So farewell, Richard. You're on your own now. Hello, my name is Richard Price, and I'm a murderer.